G'day, it's John Willis from Club Marine TV and welcome to one of my ultimate bucket list destinations. This is South West Rocks on the north coast of New South Wales. It's just a beautiful place, has to be the ultimate bucket list. We're here with a beautiful Jeep car, a Formosa boat, we're going to tackle some offshore, we're going to tackle the inshore and generally have a great time in all that this great place has got on offer. Here we are in the middle of town and it's all happening. We've got a caravan park out on the headland, there's more down on the beaches, there's great accommodation, there's great retail facilities as well. We've got the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. It's all here at Southwest Rocks. We're about to go to sea later today, so of course before you go anywhere, particularly through a tricky bar, clue in with your local safety organisation at Southwest Rocks, we've got the Marine Rescue Trial Bay. They're good people and they'll give you all the good guff. Keep you safe. Speaking of heading to sea, it's time we headed off in the boat ramp. As a bonus, we've found some local advice. Look, sometimes it really pays to enlist the locals. You know, we're, we've got all the gear, but no idea, I guess, at the moment, because it's difficult fishing conditions. We've got a lot of flood water coming down here at the moment. The water's like pea soup. So we've enlisted the help of Matty from Southwest Rocks Estuary Charters. Hello, mate. G'day, Bear. How are you, mate? I'm good. I'm good. What are we doing, mate? We're fishing for what? We're chasing Mulloway. Yep. The, the ultimate sporting fish, but yeah, we're and, having a good crack at that. Absolutely. So, uh, what do we got? We've got a, a different sort of uh, Pat Noster type rig here. Yeah, so what I've got is a heavier sinker on the bottom and a tri swivel connected to a trace about a metre out. Yep. And that live bait can swim in circles freely where it's not too caught up. Nice. Really like your Pat and Oscar, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how well he's swimming upstream at the moment because the current's fairly roaring down through here, no doubt about it. We've got extra liveys in the tank, but that's not the only thing we're here for. Sorry, well, what else is going to take it besides a mull away? Well, hopefully a mangrove jack will come along. We are fishing a bit of structure as well, so hopefully a nice hungry ma mangrove jack will come around. And you missed a good one this morning. We did, yeah. Had it on for about five minutes and uh, decided to go back in his hole and snap our line. Yeah, the one that got away. It's always there, isn't it? Yes. Mate, in the system, you're telling me that you've had GTs, you've had Spangled Emperor, you've had all sorts of bits and pieces, yeah? yeah? something that always never surprises me, you know, um, well, a couple of cods, different types of cods, you can get up north and, yep. yeah, they seem to find a little reef and home here. And The thing about Southwest Rocks, it really seems to be where all the northern species meet the southern species as well, don't you? Whether it be inshore or offshore. Yeah, that's right, yeah, definitely. Even though we had no luck with the mulloway or mangrove jack in this dirty flowing water, at least I still managed to hook onto a nice little brim. But now that we've snagged a fish on the inshore, it's time we headed offshore to try our luck. We found a nice patch of bait with tuna underneath them. But Club Marine magazine editor Chris Cyclone Beatty beat me to the rod again. So uh, what just happened, Chris? <laughs> We had a yee-haw moment, mate. We had a yee-haw <laughs> moment. The reel went off, and before you know it, I've got this in my hands. How good's that? Ah, Southwest Rocks. It really has got the lot. It's got everything for the family and everything for the boating family as well, with facilities, landscapes, friendly people, plenty of restaurants and entertainment. It's all here. But it's also got great boat ramps as well, like this dual lane ramp behind me. And what's even better, there's a pub just up the road. What do you reckon? Let's go. Here we are up at the uh, historic Trial Bay Jail. It's usually the place I'm trying to get out of, not in. But uh, look, it's just a beautiful place too, and a great place to come and camp or stay. You've got the caravan park just down below on the beautiful, beautiful, generally enclosed bay because it's a north facing bay as well. So it's generally protected, nice and safe for the family, full of facilities, bushwalks. I don't care what you do, it's all here. And on top of all this, there's also plenty of wildlife and it's not just in the water. And some of it's pretty laid back. Have a look at this. Even the kangaroos are chilled out at Southwest Rock.
I first came to Southwest Rock some 30 years ago and fell in absolute love with the place, declaring I'd come back every year. Well, that hasn't quite come to fruition, but I've certainly made regular sojourns back here ever since. It's just magnificent. Beautiful beaches, great for boating, fishing, diving, but terrific for the family as well. It's got a bit of everything. This has been John Willis, showing you some of my favourite destinations for Club Marine TV.